In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from the RAD panel bar to the new and approved RAD page view control introduced in the Q2 2010 release of RAD controls for WinForms. So as you can see, I currently have opened a WinForms application that features the old RAD panel bar. This panel bar actually contains a mail panel, a calendar panel, and a tasks panel. And each of these panels contain different types of controls, like the first panel contains a RAD tree view, uh, the calendar panel contains the RAD calendar, and then on the tasks panel uh, there is a listing of different RAD radio buttons. So let's go ahead and update this application to use a new RAD page view control rather than this old RAD panel bar. So I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio, and the first thing I need to do is actually drag out a RAD page view from our toolbox into the form. And I'm going to go ahead and resize this so it's a little bit easier to work with. And let's make it look similar to our panel bar. So the first thing uh, that it's important to know about this control is if I click the smart tag, this control actually has three different view modes. The default view mode is actually strip view mode. So if I add a couple pages to this control, you can see that strip view mode looks a lot like a tab strip. The second view mode uh, that I'll show you is Outlook view mode, and this makes the control look similar to the panel bar that you would see in Outlook. And then the third view mode, the view mode that we're actually going to be using, is the stack view mode. And this makes it similar to uh, our panel bar over here, where when we just click an item, it displays the contents that correspond to that item here inside of its content panel. So I'll go ahead and add one more page to this, and let's close out of the smart tag. And let's update our different buttons to be similar to those on our RAD panel bar. So I'm going to start with page one and come over here to the properties window for it. And let's change the text property to be mail. This will be our, our mail section. And then let's update page two to be our calendar. And then finally, page three is going to be our tasks section. Now if you uh, remember when the application was up and running our RAD panel bar actually had different icons that corresponded to each of these buttons. So let's go ahead and add those icons to the RAD page view as well. So I'm going to switch back over to the mail button and then to add an icon I simply need to come up here to its image property and I'm going to go ahead and expand that and import a new image to our resources file and I need to browse to the location of my icons, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to my conversion demos and to the assets for it. And as you can see, here are, is a set of icons I can use with this application. And so the button I had selected was the mail button, so let's associate a mail icon with it. So I'll double click that and click OK. And now let's switch over to the calendar button and update that as well. So I'm going to select the image property once again, and this time I'll import my calendar icon. Go ahead and click OK. And then finally, I need to update the tasks button. So I'll go ahead and select that, jump back over here to its image property, and then finally I'll uh, import the task icon. Click Open and OK. And as you can see, uh, when the designer refreshes, here is my RAD page view, and now it contains those three sections with their corresponding icons. So another thing I want to show you is if I come over here to my RAD panel bar, when I click on an item, it actually displays the contents of that item underneath all of the buttons uh, based on its level and the uh, hierarchy of buttons. And if I come over here to my RAD page view, by default all of the buttons stay at the bottom. Well, I want to reproduce the exact same behavior that my original control is doing. Uh, so I can actually do that pretty easily by coming up here into the smart tag for the page view and there's actually an item selection mode uh, that allows me to set where the buttons appear uh, when I click on them. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to content with selected. So if I close out of the smart tag now, as you can see when I click on a button uh, they appear at the top and the content appears below that corresponding button exactly as the red panel bar does. And the final thing I want to show you is here at the top you may have noticed that it contains the title for the section that I've clicked on 
but my old rad panel bar doesn't have that, and I want my rad page view to look exactly like the old rad panel bar. Well, I can actually remove that title by coming up here to the smart tag and selecting edit UI elements, and I'm going to select the rad page view label element, which is that element at the top that displays the title. And to hide it, I simply need to come down here to its visibility property and change that to collapsed and go ahead and close out of this. Make sure I can resize it a little bit so I can click the close button. And as you can see, that title label is now gone and both of these controls look pretty much exactly the same. So now that our rad page view is set up, it's time to start moving items over from the rad panel bar into our new rad page view. To do that, I'm actually just going to use the document outline that I can access here inside of View, Other Windows, Document Outline. And as you can see, the document outline contains an outline of all the controls on my form. So here's the rad page view control, and then here's the old rad panel bar control. And here are the items that are inside of the panel bars, different content panels. So I'm actually just going to drag and drop these items from the rad panel bar over to the different corresponding pages on my rad page view. So I'll, I'll start with the rad tree view and drop that into the mail section. And then let's drop the calendar into the calendar section. And now if we take a look at our rad page view control, here is that rad tree view. We've moved it from the rad panel bar. And if I switch over to calendar, here's our calendar control. And if I look at the rad panel bar, the calendar control has obviously just been moved from this section to our rad page view. So the final part of our conversion process is going to be to move these radio buttons over to our tasks panel. Well, this is where these controls kind of differ a little bit. The rad panel bar actually supports adding collections of rad elements to its different panels, whereas the rad page view is more like a content panel where you would want to drag and drop controls inside of it. So to reproduce a similar look that's achieved here in the rad panel bar, I'm actually going to recreate all of these radio button elements. So I'm going to jump over to the toolbox and I'm going to use one of the layout controls included with WinForms to set this up. So I'm going to open up the containers section of my toolbox and I'm just going to use a flow layout panel. So I'll go ahead and drag that here into the tasks section and then I'll make sure to dock that in the parent container. And then the flow direction is going to be from top down. So now that I have my flow control set up, I'm just simply going to come over here inside of my toolbox to the rad controls and I'm going to drag out different rad radio buttons. So let's scroll down to those and I need five radio buttons so I'll go ahead and drag out each of those inside of that flow layout panel. So our third, fourth, and fifth radio buttons. And so as you can see now, uh, our controls look very similar. The only extra thing that we might need to do is since we're using a new set of radio buttons, we'll need to be sure to bind these to any events that have been implemented by our old radio buttons. So now that our control is set up, let's go ahead and erase the old rad panel bar. And I'm going to go ahead and move our new rad page view into its place. And let's run the application and take a look at it in action now. So here is our rad page view. And as you can see on the mail page, it contains our rad tree view. Then on the calendar page, it contains the rad calendar. And then finally on the tasks page, it contains those radio buttons that we added to the flow layout panel. So that's basically all it takes to convert from the old rad panel bar to the new and improved rad page view control included in the Q2 2010 release of rad controls for WinForms. Thanks for watching.